so foggy. You showed up when you is this some kind of sick joke? I'm a bad guy, I guess. Yeah. Hey, hey. With that, guys, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. We're heading southwest towards Blackwater. Try to rescue Sean today. Could be quite the problem. Um, yep. Yeah, I didn't know if uh, if I would be lowering or raising my honor by letting that guy go, but I guess I lowered it in a big way. that train but I got bigger fish to fry <clears throat> Lucky those guys didn't see me. Getting too close to Blackwater now. that church when you walk into town if I try to I know if I try to ride in there I'll be killed in no time How many? A lot. 
Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? <sighs> Who knows? Just hey. keep your hey. eye. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Anyone been in the black water, see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. I get it, boy. All right, let's find this boat, guys. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What other happened in business. New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Well, of course not. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Why are you riding like that? He's the one that rode into me, Javier. Let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? That's him. I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. It's Sean. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's doing to them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon.
There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Kill him. We should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me. Gentlemen, I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Stay here. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Gentlemen, gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't, I can't. God damn it, Arthur. Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure, as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two. We're halfway up the canyon to deal with. Que lindo those boots you got there, eh? Those are very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Is he alive still? No. Come on! We need to get past these sons of bitches! Come on, let's move! The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Let's take these equipment. 
us! Goddamn army of these bastards! How much is Sean's bounty? Still time! On top of the tower! Who's got a shot on him? Kill that rotten bastard! I got a shot on him. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. <laughs> right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. <coughs> How about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <coughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <coughs> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Tomahawk. Hey, I got tomahawks now, guys. I guess I'll be going down then. Check this cabin right quick and then I'll be on my way. Oh, uh, I guess I'll be on my way then.
head in the strawberry. was that? Morning. Well, how it goes? Morning, sir. Hey! Clear out the way! Morning, dear. People here are so nice. There you got people waiting on you. I'll be going on then. Get a hold of yourself, man. Jesus. Oh, God. I gotta, gotta grab something for, for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for you. Say to me. Thank you. <laughs> Take something from my back for the trouble, though. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, take a minute now. My leg feels like it's, yeah. like it's on Drink fire. Drink this for the pain. Guys, we just rescued a lot of people's favorite character in this whole game, and, and more a, a, a fan favorite character, I guess I should say. Maybe not a lot of people's favorite character, but he's up there for a lot of people. There 
we go. Okay, boy. Alright. Let's return to camp, guys. With my horse. Okay, there. A badger. Well, it ain't much, but it's what we got. business to take care of I'm sure you do bud I'm sure you do yep. I'm sure it's very important stuff Don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for yeah. me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, well, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. A I minute might of my just life. Change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. Mm, I much. once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I bet you I did. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I bet you have. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Well, well good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hole gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, 
Uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> Ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Yep. Treasure map. So many strangers. Hey, he's in there. was on 2-7 off suit. If I get the feeling, I gotta go. I see a man kill playing this game. Move next time. Hey, don't mind me. Hey, open your eyes. Shut up, old sweepy. Hmm. Yeah, do you smoke, sir? Yeah. Sure, but <laughs> perhaps but not, not in real life. You. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rambottom. At your service. All right. I gotta Phineas. run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. I doubt I'll do this either, guys. I really doubt I'll do this either. Sun's getting low. Sun's getting real, real low. Whoa, whoa. Just kill another rabbit with my horse.
Hey, listen! Uh, I just wanted to say... <laughs> I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. Uh, how's it going? Here we go. What? <clears throat> I'm back home now. So everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip on my will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. Oh boy. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Dead Eye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Can we drink now, please? Let's drink! Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Sorry. Mind if I join you, fine folks? Still one of life's great pleasures, sitting Mr. by the fire with friends. No matter what else happens, nothing quite beats sitting by the fire. You can... Have the hounds of hell after you and all the angels of vengeance alongside them, but a warm fire and you feel all is okay. Them that discovered the stuff must have thought they was gods among monkeys. They discovered fire. In our time, <laughs> they've discovered a wire you can talk down to speak to people you wanted to avoid so much you moved to a different town to escape them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny, Hosea? You know, when I was in the army, fellas would spend all night talking about what they were going to do the second they left the army. Oh, all kinds of things like, oh, I'm going to go and I'm going to be a cook or... Well, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find me a wife. <laughs> Hell, someone's like, <laughs> I'm gonna go and dance with the finest whore in San Francisco. <laughs> you know, some shit like that. You know how fellas is. Oh. Well, no offense. But you know what every one of them did the second they left the army? Join the goddamn army! Okay. Jesus Christ! I mean, here is a group of fellas that spent every waking minute just dreaming of leaving, and, and then they left, and then they jumped back in again. Stupid. You know what? That, that taught me something, and, and, and it taught me something I will never forget, and that's that most fellas are sheep. Uh. That's right. And, and if you can tell the difference between a... The difference between a sheep and a, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you. Oh, yeah. you hundred you, bounty hunters there were. That makes you a better oh, man than me, sir. Look at me. With the bell. Molly O'Shea and. Arthur dancing. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Sure. Oh. <laughs> sure. I ain't much of a dancer. Arthur, 
okay to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. <laughs> Is that what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. All right. Hi there. All right, guys. Time to turn in. Guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. We rescued Sean, caught some wild game that's probably just going to ride on our horse, and uh, yeah, met some strangers. Um, if you guys like what you saw, you know what to do, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters.